What's up guys, Alex here. Welcome back to a different video. This is a different one. So I talked about this in a video a couple of days ago. This is the last day of my Canada GP vlogs. I never uploaded it because by the time I finished recording it, it was only a couple of hours until the flight, so I didn't get around to editing, and then I had this like seven hour flight. So you guys know there just isn't enough time in the day to get it all done. So I never uploaded it, then I just sort of forgot about it. Then I remembered about it and I thought, would you guys like to see it? And luckily a lot of you guys said in the comment section you would. So it's an interesting story. It starts off like a normal vlog, and at the last, or the, the end of the, this video vlog thing, um, we uh, we get a bit of a surprise whilst on my last exploration in Canada. So I'll play the vlog as if it was just to be a vlog, but then I'll get back to you guys at the end of it, with to, well, just to tell you this weird and interesting story. So. Um, yeah, hopefully you enjoy it and uh, let's get into it. What's up guys, welcome to the last Canadian GP vlog. So, I wanted to just explore a bit of Montreal. I did a bit of that in the first video you might have seen, but today we're going to go and find some other stuff. So, just sort of maybe like a bit of a cinematic sequence you might see in this vlog here. Just mostly for me to be able to remember this when I look back on it. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Some cool shots hopefully around Mon Montreal. I think we're going mostly down to like the old town because I think that's where a lot of the interesting stuff is. So. Anyway, hopefully you enjoy the video and thank you for supporting the series. I really appreciate it. Anyway, let's go. I guess there's just something so cool about exploring somewhere you've like no idea about basically. But yeah, just so many cool sites here in Montreal. It's uh, about 5pm um, time here and I'm thinking about letting it cool down a little bit and then trying to go up, Mont Mont is it Mount Royale? Mont Royale? I don't know. I want to go up there because I think Jack Leslie, a friend from the channel and Twitter for a long time, suggested it in the comments of a video like a month back, so I want to go and do that and just hopefully let it cool down. It's been absolutely baking today. And yeah, I've really, really enjoyed my time here. And well, flying back tomorrow, um, I think it's like quite late, the, the flight, but it gets me back in the UK, sort of like morning-ish. So hopefully I won't lose too much sleep. Hopefully I can sleep on the flight. That's my aim, but probably won't happen. So um, yeah, let's see if we do any more exploring today.
So one of the last clips in that was me walking up Mont Royal and I was just exploring my last day, last couple of hours. I thought might as well just go and see the scenes and you know, I was told by Jack it was an incredible view and it was. So I went up there just to spend a bit of time there. I had a few hours to kill. So it was incredible. And then the last thing that I basically did before I started walking out was just sitting there on my phone, um, you know, just recording a time lapse of people running up and down the hill. I thought it was quite cool. But then weirdly, like out of nowhere, Lance Stroll, the, the F1 driver, you know, I see him from a distance and I'm like, is that Lance Stroll? I see, I see like the Williams hat, the white hat, it just like looks a little bit like him. I'm like, nah, surely this can't be real. And then when he comes a bit closer, I was like, yeah, that, that's definitely Lance Stroll. So I was like, Lance, congratulations on, because uh, he got his first points in Canada. So I was like, congratulations. And then I asked him about his hat, the one where he's got like the, the Canadian flag on it. I was like, I really wanted to buy one at the weekend, but I couldn't find ones because they weren't on sale. So yeah, I say, are they on sale soon? And he's like, yeah. So I'm like, Okay, it's not like the biggest conversation in the world, but I managed to speak to Lance Stroll for a second there um, about you know, just saying congratulations and about his hat as well. But it's just such a weird place. I never thought of all the places I was going to meet Lance Stroll, it was not going to be up a mountain. Like, really, really strange. So, cool experience for me, and obviously I got to meet him in Silverstone. Um, you guys would have seen that in the British GP vlog I uploaded a couple of days ago. That was quite cool to finally get a selfie with him. On that day, I didn't really want to bother him with a selfie because he's in the middle of a run, and it's like, he's probably out there training and he's got to do like target times that sort of stuff so like don't want to bother him then but it was quite cool to finally meet him in Silverstone he didn't recognize me I'm not surprised um, but yeah it was cool to finally meet him and actually say oh let's no, sort of get a picture with him which is what I wanted for a long time because he's one of the drivers I support this season and he's doing good which is all, all good as well so yeah strange story hopefully you guys enjoyed it um, I don't really know much more to add Canada was an incredible experience um, I would recommend it to anyone of course it's not the cheapest Grand Prix to get out to especially if you're in Europe but it was an incredible experience and one that you'll never forget because it's just a completely different culture over there and you get it's because Montreal is obviously in the que Quebec part of the, the country where they speak French and it's just sort of a quite a weird one it's like a, a country inside a country because of course most of Canada speaks English but then you've got this little sort of area where they all speak French and uh, incredibly everyone in Montreal that I spoke to actually spoke both languages which is really cool and lucky for me because I don't speak any French but yeah it's just like a really really cool area and so many cool places to visit so I definitely recommend it to anyone that would you know is interested that has thought about going to a Grand Prix that isn't the British Grand Prix or one in Europe it is absolutely incredible I really enjoyed my experience and the turn one grandstands were really good as well we got to see quite a lot of the action as well the fans there are really really sort of motivated for the sport and they enjoy it I think they do like the crashes a lot as well which um yeah, a little bit annoying because like every time there was a crash or whatever right in front of us, they're like cheering like, yeah, oh my god. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit, I don't know, it's always like cringy, but it's just a little bit weird coming from like Europe where people are excited about massively good racing instead of crashes. But yeah, that's my only, that was like my only criticism of the race weekend really was that. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know in the comment section down below would you like me to do more vlogs for the Italian Grand Prix, which is coming later this year. I'm going to that as well, which is pretty awesome. I never would have expected to go to three Grand Prix this year. I mean, Italy was the one I was going to go to, and I was like, oh, Canada. And then British GP, obviously, with Co-Masters was pretty damn epic with the, the panic pass. So, yeah, sorry for rambling on. Uh, hopefully, I've cleared up some points. If, if I missed anything you want me to talk about, leave it in the comment section. I'll get back to you guys. But, yeah, an absolutely incredible experience, and uh, happy I finally uploaded this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Have an epic day, and I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.